Everyone's path to surgery to treat Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis is different. Kind of like how your symptoms and medication plan are all unique to you and your IBD. Maybe you've lived your life with IBD and can no longer bear the symptoms. Or you've tried a lot of different medications. Some brought relief for a time, but then your body stopped responding. Or maybe it's an emergency situation, one that can't be controlled by medication, such as bowel abscess or perforation, or the discovery of cancerous tissue. No matter your path to surgery, it can feel like a ton of emotions at once. So here are some things to keep in mind. If there's time to prepare for surgery, having a plan can help make things less intimidating. Ask your doctor about pre-surgery dietary directions. Typically, this involves a high-protein diet, lots of water, and avoiding alcohol 24 hours before surgery. It might also involve bowel prep of some kind. Your emotions are important too. Talking with online or in-person support groups can help you understand you're not alone in your IBD journey. The day of the procedure, bring a friend or family member along someone important to you who can provide reassurance. Don't forget to wear comfy clothes too. You may be sore, swollen, and have bandages on your body when you leave the hospital. Before surgery and even after, you should request to talk to your surgeon or your surgical team. Talking to your surgeon about your concerns can really help. After surgery, you may be asked to stay for a few days or more. Your doctor will advise you on what it takes to make a full recovery. Pushing yourself back to a full schedule too quickly could delay your recovery. I would recommend making any necessary arrangements for work or school so that you can focus on your rest and recovery. And nutrition is a very important part of the recovery and healing process as well. You might also have side effects from your medication or the anesthesia. These can include dizziness, nausea, and confusion. If you have concerns, call your doctor. You can also discuss how you're feeling during a post-operative appointment with your gastroenterologist. You'll typically have two, but this can vary depending on your surgery and needs. One within a couple weeks to have incisions looked at for infection. The other will be later to check on how things are healing and how your body is functioning. If you are seeing redness or swelling around your incisions or running a high fever, do not wait for your first appointment. Call your doctor immediately. Recovery is hard, so remember to reach out to your support network. If you don't have support at home, remember to reach out to a support group. There may be different paths to surgery, but shared experiences.